Call the roll. Bird. Here. Henson. Here. Stein. Here. Norman. Here. Hasselbeck. Here. Williamson. Here. Engstrom. Here. Number two, approval of agenda. Any changes, Your Honor? Uh, no changes this evening. To approve. Second. Call the roll. Henson? Yes. Stein? Yes. Norman? Yes. Hasselbeck? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Engstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Okay, number three, presentation of petitions and other communications. A, fiscal year 2024 human service grant recommendations. And I'll turn it over to Councilman Stein. Your Honor, um, <clears throat> the committee for human services grants met on May 17th at noon. And uh, as you can see, there's the budget that we had uh, presented uh, 67,900 to allocate. Uh, for those of you that don't know, 5% uh, of our local options sales tax revenues go to human services agencies. Um, and you can see some of them up there, HERDA, RSVP, Salvation Army. Um, and the requests were just a little bit above what we had to allocate. So uh, the committee came to a quick consensus on how to allocate that. You can see uh, we didn't give quite as much to HERDA as that they asked for. They asked for quite a lot and we were able to fully fund almost all of those other entities. Um, it was a very quick meeting, as they usually are. So I'll take any questions you have. That looks good. Looks fine. Do you want a motion to approve? Motion, yeah. Okay. I make a motion, we approve. Second. Call the roll. Stein? Yes. Norman? Yes. Elsabeth? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Engstrom? Yes. Kerr? Yes. Vincent? Yes. Okay, next up, number four, report of standing committees, A, policy administration. Uh, I don't think we had any report, did we? Okay. Uh, public safety and transportation, David. Our report, your honor. Uh, utility committee, Terry. Uh, we, have, we will be having a meeting on June 13th at 4.30. Okay. Uh, economic development committee, Terry. A couple of things here, uh, 3113 resolution, authorizing the execution of a demolition agreement between the city of Boone and 1608 South Story LLC by Patrick H. Clemens, and I'll turn that over to Bill. Thank you, sir. So as the council is aware, we have a program in our demolition uh, program that is a 75-25, where if, it, if the building meets a, uh, the city standards on a, on a building that needs to come down and the owner wants to keep uh, ownership of the building, we will participate on a 7525 basis. So this building involves the old Pizza Hut. And uh, I have talked with Mr. Clemens, and um, this is the agreement we came up with. Uh, as you know, the city does all the work. Uh, our community service officer will take care of, make sure the asbestos is done and put out big contractors and uh, those things. So if the agreement is approved tonight, then we will start right away on Wednesday with the asbestos inspection for the building. If you'll note in the, in the degree, we're participating 25%, so we will pay the bill, and then Mr. Clemens will reimburse the city 75% of that within 30 days, and he has agreed that he will construct a commercial building on that site within 30 months, and if he does not, then he will reimburse the city for the money where we participated. Uh, so, yes, the agreement is, I'm sorry. No, just FYI, the Economic Development Committee voted to uh, move on with this agreement. So, so there's a resolution in the packet. You see in front of you, uh, I'm asking that you approve the resolution, allow me to sign the agreement, and we will move forward. Move to approve. Second. Call the roll. Norman? Yes. Elkabeth? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Engstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Steins? Yes. Second one, 3114 resolution approving the application of Empire Realty LLC to the Iowa Economic Development Authority Iowa Workforce Housing Tax Credit Program. And Empire is here tonight to answer any of your questions. This is in regard to the duplexes built at 8th and Ringel. And Brenda, do you have anything on this? I know we talked about it a little bit at ED last time. And so that's why it's on the agenda for approval. This will allow Brenda to submit the application for the Iowa Workforce tax credits. It needs city approval. 
And the resolution is a packet. Renderings here of the, what these buildings will look like. Do a quick review of what's going up there. Uh, yeah, you can. Sure. Um, eight townhomes. Okay. Four structures, eight townhomes. Oh, sorry. And, right. And also, this is a former property that was on our demolition list. And so this is basically turned out uh, very positive. So um, the project will move forward. Uh, again, council uh, approval is needed uh, for Brenda to send in the applications on the housing credit. Does it require a lot of fill, that, that area? No. Okay. It'll be basements going in there too. So it'll be at the level that it's at now. I move to approve. Second. Call the roll. Council back? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Engstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Steins? Yes. Foreman? Yes. Yeah. You're good to go. Double in the ground. Okay, number five, department reports. Building official is with, not with us this evening. Uh, finance officer, Andrea. Hi, and the consent agenda is the annual um, resolution for transfers. Um, if there's any questions, I'd be willing to take those questions now. Or if you have them after the meeting, I can take those then too. Otherwise, that's all I have. Okay, to do. thank you. City Attorney Jim. No report, Your Honor. Uh, Director of Public Works, Wayland. Thank you, Your Honor. So, this short. Uh, just let you guys know there is a small boil advisory on for three houses over 725 South Main, 726 South Main, and 1120 Park Avenue. Contractor was tapping the water main this afternoon and had a mishap and had to shut it down for three, three houses. So, very small. I don't foresee any problems with it. Just letting you guys know in case anybody calls. Uh, secondly, the traffic signals at Mamie and Story, I don't know if anybody noticed over the weekend, we're in flash. We got hit with a lightning strike uh, in the thunderstorm Thursday, Friday morning, Thursday afternoon, whatever it was. Um, it looks to me right now with spare parts that I've kept from other cabinets and stuff like that, that I've got it to where it needs to be. Uh, we worked on it three or four times Friday afternoon, and every time I worked on it, it threw me uh, for another loop and came back with a bigger gremlin. So it is on a timer base. So it's not detecting vehicles. It's strictly working on time per intersection or per phase. So I'm letting it do that right now so it always clears through, and I'm going to make sure it's running in the background and everything's working before I put it back live. Again. Hopefully I can do that tomorrow. Uh, later this week. And thirdly, citywide cleanup. We made it to 16th Street. Uh, screws are going. Um, all of our trucks are running. We had one minor breakdown today. Got that fixed and we're all back and running. So, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, anything under engineering, Bill? No, sir. Uh, public safety. Uh, Chief Adams is not with us. Chief Weeble. Thank you, sir. Um, <clears throat> In this current budget year, uh, we had $30,000 set aside in LOST money uh, to put new HVAC in the PD. That project is completed and it came in uh, quite a bit under budget. So I have about $6,000 left over. Um, I would ask that we carry that over so I can uh, create a women's locker room. Currently, we just have a locker room. Um, when, this build, when we moved to that building, we only had male officers. Um, that's how it was set up. Obviously, we have a female officer now, and, and I hope within the next or the July council meeting, we'll have a second one. Um, so we need really need to have a, a, a female locker room space. So I'm asking if we can hold that money over so we can get that project completed. Do you need a motion for that? I believe so. I should make that motion. I make that motion. <laughs> second. Yeah. Call the roll. Williamson? Yes. Engstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Stein? Yes. Norman? Yes. Back? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next up, City Administrator Bill. Thank you, sir. As you remember at the last council meeting, there was some discussion on uh, updating or changing and amending a couple ordinances. They are in the consent agenda, but I put them under my report because uh, it's your first view to see if you had any questions on myself or Jim who put the ordinances together. 
The first one is ordinance uh, 175.18 under zoning facade downtown. Uh, he added a few words under section 2A and then section 2B uh, has to do with any new construction located in C3 commercial district of downtown, which is designated the Boone Downtown Center Fund map, which is up on the screen. So it would be this area right here. Go farther. So that's the wording. Tonight's the first reading. Uh, again, uh, I'll take any questions or, or Jim will take any questions on the legal aspect if you have any of it. Otherwise, you'll uh, have an opportunity to approve the first reading in the consent agenda. Okay, second ordinance was the parking spaces for uh, which used to be Boone County Transportation. Uh, now HERD is in there, but Jim has changed it to uh, the organization providing public transportation. There were five areas that um, had signs up. There are two that we need to keep to be that uh, we can take away or under the ordinance are A, B, and C. We would keep D and E, which uh, has to do with Sacred Heart as well as West Haven. I forwarded this information to HERDA and let them know what council was uh, looking at doing. They're, they have no comments on it. They're fine with it. There's no issues. So that is the second ordinance in the consent agenda. Oh, I'm not. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Not in the consent agenda. It's under ordinances, not the consent agenda. So you have an opportunity to vote for it. Okay. You're correct. So I'll have any, answer any questions you have on that if you do. Otherwise, I'll move on to just a couple updates. Uh, staff is still working with Kading uh, Properties on the potential development on the 15 acres the city owns over on South Marion Street. I hope to have some information to you or at least to the committee uh, by the next council meeting. Uh, lastly, if you, I don't know if you've been in there yet, the auditorium has been completed with the remodel. If you want to take a chance to look in there, and there's a lot of tables and other stuff because we're remodeling. Uh, other, uh, the second floor uh, conference room with paint and, and new chairs and things like that. But the auditorium is done if you want to take a peek. And unless you have any questions, that's my report. Okay, number six, consent agenda. Are there any items on the consent agenda that you would like removed and discussed separately? And if not, I need a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Call the roll. Engstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Benson? Yes. Science? Yes. Foreman? Yes. Elsebeck? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Okay, number seven, ordinances A, second reading ordinance 2288 to allow the city of Boone, Iowa to change the all train and off road vehicles ordinance by amending chapter 77, section 77.047 by deleting 16 years of age and replacing it with 18 years of age. Second. All the roll. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Stein? Yes. Foreman? Yes. Elsebeck? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Engstrom? Yes. A, B, first reading ordinance 2289 to allow the city of Boone, Iowa to change the C3 limited district zoning regulations ordinance chapter 175, section 175.1810. So moved. Second. Call the roll. Henson? Yes. Sines? Yes. Mormon? Yes. Wilsabeth? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Engstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. C, first reading uh, ordinance 2290 to allow the city of Boone, Iowa to change the parking regulations ordinance chapter 69 by deleting Boone County transportation and replacing it with the organization providing public transportation to the citizens of Boone, adding code section 69.0617 and deleting code 69.191 A, B, and C. So moved. Second. Call the roll. Fine. Yes. Norman? Yes. Elsebeck? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Engstrom? Yes. Bird? Yes. Henson? Yes. Okay, number eight, uh, Mayor Scott, I have no comments this evening. Number nine, council member comments? Yeah, I have a couple, Your Honor. Um, uh, we had a great night of Nights on the Green event last Friday. Um, I want to thank the mayor and Jim and Linda for coming down there and, and, and participating. It was a, a great event. Carol Renee's dance studio was there. We had tons of kids activities at 28 or 29 craft vendors there. Um, about the same amount of cars. We had a car show and everything else. Had about 700 people 
in and out of the gate. So it's a pretty, pretty good event. So I encourage you guys to come down next July. It's Heroes Night. It's usually a big night for us. We're going to have uh, flag raising and uh, elected officials there. So And weather cooperated. Yeah, weather cooperated. That's <laughs> supposed to help. rain all week long. We kept yeah. going to rain on us, and it didn't. It stayed nice all night. So a little warm, but that wasn't bad. But like I said, Heroes Night next July 7th. So if you can come down and enjoy it, we really appreciate it. And the second thing is the railroad crossings. If you've been across Story and Green Streets, they are phenomenally better. <laughs> a lot better. That's, that's all I have, Your Honor. Any other council comments? I had a couple. Um, well, right now, the library is having their summer reading kickoff carnival. So there's a lot of people down there. I was down there earlier. Hot as always, but a lot of people having a lot of fun. Um, the summer reading program is kicking off and it's open to adults too. So make sure you sign up for that uh, over the summer. Um, and then I had another uh, item that a citizen who wanted to come to the meeting to uh, present this can't because of medical reasons uh, for uh, the uh, Transportation Safety Committee. Uh, she wanted to let them know that she's concerned about traffic control on Division and Mamie. And I know that's come up before. I just wanted to put it on their radar if it's something that they've uh, been thinking about. So she's concerned about it. And I told her that I would bring it up. One thing I wanted to mention is I do have copies if anyone wants one um, that I, we hand out. And this is just a copy that's it's, uh, titled What's Going On in Boone. And this is just a set of, I think there are about 25 questions and, and uh, issues that came up um, from citizens and Bill Scare went over them and myself. And so um, it's part of, I guess, what I'm aiming for is just uh, more transparency and making sure that people are aware of uh, what the city's doing and, and what some of those decisions are. So anyone that wants a copy, um, be sure and ask me afterwards. And I've got those. Other council comments? Any public comments for items not on the agenda? Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Marty Lamori, and I'm speaking on behalf of the Boone History Center. I'm a board member there, and um, we're excited as a board to see the actions that have been taking place um, as far as looking at. Um, um, renovating the downtown and bringing um, some changes to that. Um, I know there's an ad hoc committee in the city council, as well as um, uh, the chamber have been all involved in getting that started. I've been on your downtown booth Facebook page and looked at all the renderings of the drawings of the uh, um, assessment that was done and some ideas. Um, what I wanted to say on behalf of the History Center is that um, we're excited to have um, changes come that are going to enhance downtown Boone and the historical look in keeping with the History Center. We're kind of the gateway in and we got a compliment and we're excited that we're kind of a nice face when we first drive into town. Um, and we work hard to try to keep the property um, in good shape for that reason. Um, and we'd like to still see the ideas of maintaining the historical look in the buildings and uh, place that people want to come down to the gallery. Um, and I know there's a proposal for um, Dollar General to, to, to become a reliever. And I guess we just feel like the typical look of the front of one of those buildings isn't maybe in keeping with wanting to keep 6th through 9th Street. Um, or if you want to be in history. Um, I know there were several options that were laid out. So we just support looking at some options to keep that historical charming look for um, the future of them. Thank you. And I think we have, I know Bill has talked to him um, and kind of expressed some of our wishes that we would like the front of that uh, building. And, and uh, so I think that's, that's kind of where it's at is, is we have said that we would prefer some brick or masonry kind of on the front and dressing it up a little bit because it is at the entryway into our downtown area. 
more than a preference changing that ordinance there yeah. is a yes and even not only on the front side but on the north and south sides as well um, so that's making sure that that has to happen anything visible from story Okay, so you have an ordinance, as I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a project. And new. But, but it also applies to that entire area, right? It doesn't just apply to this building. Exactly. Any new construction in downtown Boone okay. have to comply with that ordinance. Okay. So it's a step in, in trying to make sure we do get some of those improvements as we look at the downtown area. And... Yeah, we also are working on that Main Street application, which will be next year. And part of what they uh, really promote is that historic renovation for your downtown. So we will be trying to keep a lot of that <clears throat> the same. I think we're going to, we're revisiting Beta for that exact reason. Yeah. It has to be changing too. Yeah, I'm probably a little more blunt about the whole thing. If you don't know about the Main Street project, it's been tried once in Boone, and they knew they weren't going to make it. Now they've got a great committee, and they're going to get this thing through. What Main Street will do for this community is millions of state dollars coming in here. Look at Grundy Center, Iowa. Look at Iowa Falls, Iowa. I'm pointed with both those projects. Their main streets are fantastic. Their buildings are filled. They're nicely done. And what they simply do annually is resubmit, not a lot of work, and the state writes them a check for $500,000 to go on. Now, if you put a tin building up on there, a dollar general, you're not going to get a main street project. They're going to walk away from you laughing. Yeah. Keep it out of here. Nobody's talking about putting up a tin building there anyway. Pardon me? Nobody's talking about putting up a tin building. That's why we changed the ordinance. Well, I don't care what they're talking about. A dollar general is a dollar general. Well, I don't care what we're talking about, but an ordinance is an ordinance and has to be complied with. So I think they represent. Shopping with it, huh? Pardon? Forget it. To suggest that it's going to be tin is is not even close to what's going to happen. Yes. Can I ask the question if, if, is it actually, is it definitely a signed deal that Dollar General is going there? I just asking, it is. We, definite. this council had numerous meetings and discussions, published notice after notice, made the decision to go ahead with the transaction with Dollar General. We have a written agreement that's binding upon City of Boone to sell it, and so that is is the uh, direction it's going. Pardon? What'd you say? I said it's a horrible decision if you're going to put dollars down. Period. Well, all right. It's my opinion. Oh, can you have your opinion? That's fine. Yes. I appreciate the ordinance change. I'm wondering if there's any change to the signage ordinance. Or will it still be on the story screen of a huge yellow? across the entire store it makes us look like a discount. Are you talking about the Dollar General store? Yeah. yeah that'll, that'll all be worked on in, the, in when we receive a site plan. Keep in mind, their site plan goes to PNZ. It's got to be approved by PNZ, brought forward to council. Council has the final decision. So at, at this point, do we know if the storefront is facing Story Street? The entrance and the no, store no, or is it no. Um, no, we have a purchase agreement with the, the sale has not gone through. They have till the middle of July. That's the deadline of, for us to close on, on the property. And then if that happens, then as we go forward, they will submit a site plan. And then staff will look at it as well as the PNZ and the, and the final decision comes to council. Council follows the ordinance uh, when that comes through on what they can and can't do. And they're advised by the city attorney. Uh, in addition to that, I've had several conversations with the broker who's handling the sale. They're well aware of what our expectations are, as well as the mayor sent them a letter in the middle of May uh, expressing what his expectations were for this project and what the building would look like. And that has been passed on to corporate. Any other questions? 
Yes, sir. I was here last month. Thought about uptown. Jeez. The Dollar General, we need that business. We retired 20 years ago, nothing has been built up and moved. Nothing. It's, I mean, our stores are pitiful. The streets are bad. The trees aren't worth the damn. And, and you said, we need to get some state money, federal money. We need to get a committee to go down to the governor. They sent us some money to vote. Get eight, ten million dollars to help this city. Try to get money from Paraguay, but I can't get rid of it. Let go. So whatever. This, you know, I'm four dollars. We need that place up there. Paraguay's been there for forty years. I remember going up there and playing when I was a kid. Boom, need to do something. I'm four dollars. I hope they build a nice building and if you make them put brick in that fine, they will ten, no big thing. But we need some progress in this freaking town. I mean, we got one of the best stores in the good in Iowa. A billion dollar corporation out there. We can't get 10 million dollars. There's something wrong in Denmark. We need to fix this freaking town up. We need to get on the ball. Month after month, year after year, like that, in 20 years. I should have ran for the council and got something done. You got to get hold some state people grasping a rental, get going, get this town moving. I mean, Papa Belly days, I mean, it's pitiful. The racetrack makes tons of money. People complain about them, but it's a good, good fund for boom. But we need to get on the ball, make some, get some committee. <laughs> All I got said. Thank you. I'll respond. I haven't been on the council that long, but I'm really proud of the progress we've been making. And we are really pursuing trying to improve our downtown area. That is really, I guess that's one of the reasons I ran for council. And that's really a focus. Um, we are, we just had a group of volunteers, what was it, two weeks ago that, that volunteered on a Sunday afternoon to clean it up. And they went and washed windows and just started cleaning it up. We had another group that planted some plantings in those four corner areas um, to fix those up. We are looking at, we have a group that is looking at replacing a lot of the trees. We have good trees down there. And, and I actually walked it and we have 17 trees, if you want to know that are right in those two blocks that are still healthy trees. Then we've got a lot of empty places that need something. You so, want to go from the ninth story and walk the sixth story and tell me what needs to be fixed down there. You, you city company to walk down there and go over the ninth story, sixth story, and look at all the trees that are tearing up the site. Down the road was married 30 years ago. I told the man, don't put trees down. It'll destroy the site. Oh, you know what you're talking about. Look at it today. Right. There's well, a lot of there's a time people are going to get hurt tripping on that stuff. The city's going to get a lot of losses, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Well, you gotta give them on the ball. All I know is we have an arborist that's working with us, and, I mean, and right, right is recommending a tree that will fit that space and won't should not cause problems that way. So. We're really doing a lot of research and looking at it. We're not just kind of tossing things in there and, and hoping they work. Um, so I guess I'm I'm feeling like we're making progress and, and I will continue to say that because I, I really see people working hard to make changes downtown. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. We're trying if we can if we can become a main street community. The rest of the summer, you go up there and tear the tree down, put a new I go down to Moy. To get 10 men construction workers, we have a lot of money. All you gotta do is come up with money. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the trees, so I I'm not gonna <laughs> encourage somebody to take them out. But I just like to say I was my wife and I we have a seat at 721 in that square space where there used to be a tree. It's not being ground out. The tree stump's still there. So whenever you put mulch in there. It just washes out every time it rains or blows. I know they didn't want to spend the money on grinding out a tree stone because when we had the livery building, I cut that tree down. They said they were not going to grind that out either. So I'm just saying 
if we want to make this look nice and not have all the mulch end up in our vestibule or all over the sidewalk instead of being in that spot, we need to do something with the stumps that are up currently there already. Um. I'll just say one more thing. Council, next council meeting, there is a group coming that's talking about that plan and the proposal and getting rid of the, um, preparing those areas and putting perhaps some grates there. And anyway, they're they're working on, on how that can be handled. I was part of that group that helped do the cleanup on those four corners. Very good, so very good. We're about wanting to make this downtown look nice. I go to Perry, look at the, what they have, and they even got uh, some of the, uh, Restaurants being able to have some of the parking spots with a, a patio sit, sitting there that people can sit outside on that. So it's just those kind of things that just draws attention. It's like those are things like that. And it's people that want those things to happen. So that's that'll help. Okay. Any other public comments? Right, this meeting is adjourned.